Hey, it's good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borgen. This could be a quick video and offseason report on the Arizona Coyotes as we look at a team that is, has a plentiful stacking of picks in the first and second round, three in the first, four in the second round. So this draft is going to be mighty important for the Yotes that can try to turn it around with Armstrong quicker than maybe some anticipate because of all the picks they have. They already have Clayton Keller. I would keep Lawson Krause and not trade those guys with how good of players they are. Keep those guys around. <clears throat> Uh, Richie's a guy you can let go. Travis Boyd started getting going. Jack McBain was a good pickup from the Hurricanes organization. So they got some good guys coming. Fisher's a guy that's still young at an RFA. So is Hayden. So he still has time to develop. Just because he's not ready at 22 doesn't mean he's not going to be good in the NHL by any stretch. So I think they still have the makings. I feel like Phil Kessel's a veteran to probably let go. Of course, they have Chitron to 24-25. Dyson Mayo's on a very cheap contract. Developed well as a right-handed defenseman. Uh, last year, and Giannis Moser is developing, was very good in the World Juniors, watched him developing up different levels, same with Soderstrom, very solid developing player, and same with um, Kolod Sharnolkov of Vladislav, I always mispronounce his name, but all three of those guys at 21 or 22 years of age are developing nicely, Kobo Bianco seems like he can at least be a good extra defenseman, maybe eventually be a sixth defenseman, and maybe the Neen can be that same thing as well. So they got some guys there. Bilge Maka, you got on a good contract. Harry Sattery coming over. I think maybe he can develop into a backup. He did good overseas. Now maybe in this game, he wasn't good in the old school NHL. Maybe now in today's pace, that plays a little bit more similar to Europe than it did back in the past. He can be a little bit more successful. They also have some good prospects with Dylan Gunther, Matisse McKelly, Liam Kirk, Ben McCarthy, uh, Ryan McGregor, just to name a few. So I think this team's going to be good. They, 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 got, they got a pretty good conglomeration of people um, that are going to continue to improve um, for the Arizona Coyotes over time. It's just they're not going to be good for about three years because they have a bunch of really young guys that got to continue to develop. So it's all about Bill Armstrong continuing to draft all of those young guys that are going to be really good in the first and second rounds he picks he has this year, which is three in the first and four in the second. So with the total of those seven picks, if you hit on even three of them, that's really going to help this team progress much quicker than some anticipate. They also still have Shane Goss to spare for next year, who had a hell of a season this year. Great offensive defenseman. Was too talked down here in Philadelphia, so I'm glad, honestly, for him he got out of here. And then Connor Timmons, who's a good developing defenseman as well. Um, and then, obviously, when it comes to the rest of the prospect pool as well. They got Shane Doan's son, Josh, Ilya Fedotov as well. So you could throw in those guys as well that are still really young in their 19s, uh, years of seasons. Uh, Aku Rati, who seems like he can be a solid a player as well. Cal Thomas, uh, Axel uh, Bergquist, who seems like he's been a solid uh, pick for them later in the draft. At 200, he's developing fairly nicely. Um, so it seems like all their picks that they picked in the hundreds and two hundreds of defensemen are developing nicely. Same with the hundreds uh, when it comes to forwards. All those guys like Landry are developing nicely. So they're picking well. <clears throat> For Anachi also at 76 was a very good pick from uh, the USA. So I think they're developing well. They're starting to move their team in the right direction, I guess is the way to put it. Now it's just about continuing to compete those block steps and succeeding at each step along the way. They've been getting better with Bill Armstrong, but they're still not great. Obviously, they're playing a freaking Arizona State next year, but that's not their fault. That's more the Arizona and their state government's fault for screwing them over and putting them in a place they should have never played anyway. But if they can get put in Tempe, then they're going to be set. They're going to be all set in stone. I think this is about a three year before the Coyotes are really good, but you're going to see vast improvements each of the next two years going into that third year. And you're going to have expanded playoffs, of course. So I would say that's going to help out the Arizona Coyotes as well. So, um, we'll see what happens, but I think the Coyotes are going to be good over time. They got a good prospect pool. They already got some good guys there. As we mentioned in this video, please continue to subscribe down below. Above on the easy to use widget, keep channel growing to the goal of 260 or more by the start, or not by the start, by mid-July. Thanks for subscribing this far, everybody. This has been a short Arizona Coyotes video looking into their offseason. And on the players they have, I'll be doing a video on their offseason and maybe some guys they could acquire to help them out. That'll be a set of videos for every team that comes a little bit later in the offseason as the Stanley Cup is close to wrapping up. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.